jumped up. I think Mama sat into like the 150s at one point. Mm -hmm. And, um, but the first thing I felt was swelling in my throat. Like I couldn't swallow. And I started having trouble talking. Um, and breathing. Um, they couldn't see swelling in my throat, but it felt too low down. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to spend my time with anime on the TV Well, I read more of Tower of Dawn. Um, I'm getting good ways through it, as you can say. Good morning, guys. My joints really hate me up until last night. So I'm staying in bed as much as possible to keep cracking and popping and dislocating and ah, uh, they hurt so much. And along with that, my terrible ragweed allergy is flaring up because there's tons of ragweed out and I don't know why it's having so flaring up but like I can feel swelling in my jaw, it always collects in this side of my jaw and like sometimes it feel, looks like I have a golf ball in my jaw and it like shocks everyone so I'll see if I can find a picture of it here uh, to show y'all. But I'm happy I won't do that again because it's swelling up and it's hurting. And I tried putting some hemp oil on it last night to help ease the pain. It didn't work. <laughs> it has worked on my jaw, helping jaw pain before. But that's more from jaw pain caused by EDS and the TMJ issues the EDS causes. So it doesn't work with allergies apparently. And I have a terrible headache. Every step just makes my headache pound more and more. And so I'm trying to stay in bed until I have coffee. I'm really hoping the caffeine will ease the headache. Mom is thankfully making me coffee now. She is amazing. And I just got an easy breakfast. I grabbed some grapes and I grabbed less Dover coleslaw <laughs> and that's what I'm eating. So, uh, it's a pain. But Mom has to go back out. She has to do shopping. She has to drop off some test stuff for Caroline. She has to go by the DMV. So I'm watching things around here again. <laughs> So I'm really hoping I'll feel better. Thankfully, I'm not getting st terrible stomach pain after eating. At least I haven't yet. I haven't finished eating for very long. So I'm hoping I'm not speaking too soon. But Hannah gets to sleep till wee hours of the morning. And so she'll be sleeping most of the day. And then hopefully tonight, her, Kelly, and I will be able to binge watch season four of Voltron. I'm so excited about that. Even if I cannot muster very much excitement on my face, I'm feeling the excitement. Caroline is in a lot of pain after last night. She also has a really bad headache. She's just really feeling the effects of post-reaction and post-ER trip. And so, but thankfully she's... I say stay, she's stable, however she could go into reaction any amount just like she did last night, so she's stable for the moment. She's not having a reaction, let's say that. She's not having a reaction right now, which I am thankful for. So hopefully she can get through the day without another reaction. So I think Ma also has to call her allergist, but we'll see if she's able to get that done or not. Oh my head hurts so much guys. I'm cutting little Wendy Chan. She's being sweet and she's sleepy. I took her to let Caroline see her and Caroline was so happy and Wendy just crawled up right in my hands and fell back asleep. It was so cute. So she's really sleepy because yeah, they're nocturnal. So she's cuddling with me and sleeping and being a darling. And so I'm going to spend my time with anime on the TV Well, I read more of Tower of Dawn. Um, I'm getting good ways through it, as you can see. I am almost halfway through, so it's good because it's too back in a few days, and I need to finish it before then. Because Kayla got it before me, and then I had other stuff I was doing and couldn't start it for until just the other day. So I'm going through it. It's a lot of pages, but I am enjoying it. Um, don't know where I'll lead. Kayla couldn't didn't want to give me spoilers. Because we're worried about ableism in this book specifically because it has to do with a character trying to get healed and be able to walk because they're stuck in a wheelchair and the author isn't disabled, the author isn't in a wheelchair so we're like really really worried about it. 
but the one piece can would tell me was she said that when I finish it I will not want to throw it against the wall so that doesn't mean it doesn't isn't doesn't have an ableist ending but she said I won't want to throw it against the wall so I'm just like reading it and taking stuff as it comes so far I am enjoying the portrayal <sighs> mixed feelings about the whole healing um aspect but I'm understanding the character's feelings about the wheelchair like they're were really upset because how much we, the wheelchair was making noise because after be weeks of being at sea the metal had warped it's like squeaking and making so much noise and I understand that oh so much because um once after getting um water and stuff on it my wheelchair was making terrible squeaks with every turn of the wheels and I was like crying I was like I, well, my wheelchair means freedom to me. I love my wheelchair. In that moment with my wheelchair making so much noise, I hated it. I did not want to get in it. I could not stand it making that noise. And so I tried walking and I ended up collapsing multiple times because I was so upset with the wheelchair making such noise. Thankfully, we were able to fix it. I restructured a lot while crying <laughs> because I couldn't handle it making the noise and I found the problem. And so I told daddy my research and he fixed it for me so I'm thankful for that so I understood that part <laughs> but we you see how it ends so we shall see but I'm gonna go rest and the coffee should be ready in a few minutes hopefully that'll help my headache and hopefully Keanu will recover hey, hey, well. so I told you guys that she would try to update y'all today and so I'm helping her out since poor thing it's not feeling very good after y'all are you What's the worst? What are your worst symptoms post anaphylaxis right now? Pain, throwing up, mm. joint pain, head pain, both. Both. That's what I figured. I'm sorry. So, at the ER, the staff was good. same nurse I had last time so she remembered me. I heard that one of them that even if she, though she wasn't your nurse she visited you because she knew you? Uh she was walking by and mama, called, mama said hi she was coming by so she said hi for me. That was sweet of her. Yeah. It's nice when they care mm -hmm. and they're all getting to know you really well. <laughs> Unfortunately yes. Yes. <laughs> they're quite a file on you now. They do. But thankfully, they are quick to help you when you come in with by ambulance. Yeah, things move pretty fast. Yeah, because I mean, they saw what happened. Um, so they gave you one of the medicines they usually give you, a steroid, Decadron. Decadron to help stop the reaction. But instead, you developed an allergy to it. Yeah, I used it the last two times I went, and I did okay with it. This time, which, How do you react? I heard your heart rate went up really high. And yeah, were you um tremoring? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um yeah, my heart rate jumped up. I think mom was set into like the one fifties at one point. Mm -hmm. And um but the first thing I felt was swelling in my throat. Like I couldn't swallow. I started having trouble talking, um, and breathing. Um, they couldn't see swelling in my throat, but it felt too low down. Mm -hmm. Um, but some of my stats were kind of going and changing, and the tremors didn't stop probably until I got the second IV push wow. of Benadryl. Uh, you were tremoring really badly when you were here before you went to the, before the ambulance got here. Yeah, the tremors were um, pretty much constant. I would get a few minutes of a break here and there, but it didn't really stop for a long time. Probably not until after, sometime after 10 o'clock. I'm happy all the Benadryl helped. <laughs> Yeah, um, 
I mean, it was a lot of pain afterward. I don't know if it was from the reactions or what, but that's a lot. That was muddled yeah. in there. So. Not necessarily think it was the financial, just good timing. Have you been able to keep any food down today? That's good. That's relief. <laughs> Love you. Bye. So I think I might have a sinus infection. I'm in a whole lot of pain from it. My head, my teeth, my neck. I get these a couple times a year, and it's usually worse in the autumn, so it figures. My sister says it's ragweed. It explains why I was having so much so many problems with mucus all the morning that I had to take a breathing treatment, and so it's probably just it's just been building up for a few days, and now it's bad. I can feel swelling and building up in the straw, and it hurts so much, and it'll probably be visible soon. I hope it doesn't swell up too much this time. I don't know why it collects in my jaw. I need to. Oh, at some point see my PCP about it while I'm doing it but I still am trying to find a new PCP because my last one was flaky she kept telling me she was gonna do stuff but she would never do it and that was obviously very problematic when she says she's gonna get you necessary medicine and she never fills the script and she keeps telling you she was going to do it but she never does it <sighs> so I need to find new PCP. I'll, I need to go see Caroline so I need to set up um, establishment of care appointment with her. But anyways, I was going to try to do dishes, but I'm a whole off pain, so I really didn't want to. So I was very happy to see that Ty had fallen asleep and was taking a nap on the couch because he worked on a hot, hot job really hard all day. And so I don't want to do dishes to just because I don't want to disturb him, so I have a good excuse not to. <laughs> So I'm in bed, icing my neck, trying to help relieve the pain, and I just realized I need to get food soon because all I've eaten today is grapes and coleslaw throughout the day. And grapes this morning and coleslaw throughout the day. And so I really need more food. But, um, I've been forgetting to eat more lately because for a long time with my fatty liver disease, with, um, this, the liver enlarged. When I got hungry, the liver pain would get so much worse. I'm not sure exactly how, um, but that's what my doctor said was causing it. And he was obviously right because now I've lost a lot of weight. It's not doing it anymore. But the pain would be so bad I couldn't, like, couldn't even walk because the, the sagging pain in my liver was so terrible. But now that I've lost 30 pounds, my liver pain is barely there. And so I'm having regular hunger pains instead of terrible stabbing pains. And so I can go longer with periods without eating because I'm not having the terrible pain. But because of that, I can forget to eat. So I need to get food soon, but my head really hurts. So I'm going to take a break because it took a while to edit the vlog because I was trying to figure out how to blow out faces so I could blow out the paramedics' faces. But all the videos I was watching for it, the tools were slightly different. Not sure why because they were using the same program maybe a slightly different version I'm not sure and so I couldn't quite get it to work because I didn't have quite all the controls they had I'm not sure if it was something in settings or what so since I, I worked on that for a long time couldn't get to work so finally result um resulted no resorted that's the word I'm looking for I finally resorted to giving them all emoji heads and it works so it might not look as subtle, but it works. So, oh, my head hurts so much, guys. I'm gonna go rest and see if it's time to take more medicine. Mom is awesome. She went to a store of Verona for the first time and they had clearance joy and she got us some. She got Hannah, Kelly, and I each a choker. And this is mine, I just love it so much. And they also had clearance rings. Um, one, one ring was independent. And the rest were all sold as a set for just like a couple dollars. And so I have rings on this hand. And rings on this hand. And I have more on my ring stand. <laughs> so we, we really like them. I'm actually surprised some of them fit me. 
but yay my weight loss is helping me wear more rings <laughs> but some of them i have to wear as like this one i'm having to wear as a knuckle ring but i think it looks really cool as a knuckle ring and others i was able to fit all the way on my fingers so i'm really 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 happy <sighs> i love jewelry and this jewelry is my style so i'm happy <laughs> Hey y'all, it's 10.30 and I have been home for about two hours. I've been chilling. Today's been a pretty good day for me. Um, I went to go get my disability sticker at the DMV, but they closed at 4. I thought they closed at 4.30, but they closed at 4, so I didn't do that. And then I went to drop some lab stuff off for Caroline, and then I just went and piddled. <laughs> I don't usually get to do that. I haven't been able to do it for a while because of um, my knees and the pain I've been in. And I really didn't realize how bad it was until today without the, with the braces. I was able to do so much more. I mean, there have been so many times in the last few months where I basically come back to the van and if I don't cry, I just want to cry. And when I come home, I am so, so sore and just exhausted from the pain. And using my braces today, that didn't happen. So I was really pleased. I went to um, several stores just looking around. Jean had given me some extra money as a surprise just to spend on myself. So I went and bought some jewelry and um, looked around at some other things. And um, I went to like five or six stores, which is really unusual. Usually like when I'm shopping, I go in, I get what I need and I leave because I'm hurting so bad. I can't. I can't do anything else so it was really nice today to be able to just browse and enjoy myself and not feel like my legs were gonna fall off the whole time so that's been about it for me um, I'm just gonna chill and read a book and um, get Sarah to bed soon and then tomorrow I'm gonna stay pretty close to home I think I may run out and get a couple of things in the evening once Jean get gets home because Rachel's trying a new med and I don't want to leave her um, when she's trying it. So we'll um, we'll see what I do. I may stay home the whole time. We'll see. But um, Caroline's feeling really bad. I feel I feel sorry for her. And um, hopefully we'll get the results on this C diff test really soon and find out. Um, so if it is that, we can start treating it. I'm really I'm concerned that her. Allergist is going to want her to come to Jackson because of the use of the EpiPen, but I'm going to just explain to him that she's so sick with C. diff stuff that it would really be, unless it's absolutely necessary, it's going to be really hard on her. So that's, that's my day so far. There goes Miss Rachel. So, um, I'm going to go for the night. And Rachel, check back with you later. Just finished watching the first three episodes of season four of Voltron with Hannah and Caroline, and you are all just having too many feels through the whole thing. All of them, all three episodes. This season, they're really, really stepping up. And, ah, can't wait for my friends to watch it because I, oh, I'm having so many feelings about it. But, um, oh, earlier my science and fiction's looking really bad. It's getting worse. Um, it's why I took a breathing treatment, as y'all saw. I also did a uh, essential oil and salt seam, and I drank some hot tea and I took a bath, and all those things combined really helped manage the pain. And so I'm really happy about that. However, it's getting worse again. After a couple hours, it's getting worse. <laughs> So, I'll do those things again in the morning, and for now, I'll just put some of this essential oil blend Hannah made me on and try to get some sleep. Hopefully, the pain will keep me up because it's really hurting now. Blah. But I'm so happy with you. I watched Full Drama with Hannah and Caroline. I should say, I had too many feels. But I'm in pain, so I'm gonna get some sleep. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this video, we make more every day, and yeah, thank you for watching. Good night.